My boyfriend slept with someone else thinking it was me. My boyfriend cheated on me whilst high on substances because he thought it was me. My partner, 24 and I 22 joined our friends on a trip to a beach to try substances for the first time. There were only five of us, two boys and three girls, two couples, one extra girl. We took substances while there was still sunlight because apparently it takes ages to take effect and we spent this time drinking beer near our tents with a campfire going on. Mind you, as we were descending into tripping balls on substances, we were also getting quite drunk. I'm very lightweight so I didn't have much to drink. My partner, on the other hand, had plenty. When it started to kick, it was fun. It was funny. I felt like the sand was grassy and I kept hearing Billie Eilish singing to my ear when really it was the wind blowing so hard it was whistling. This is where it goes downhill. Maybe 4 to 5 hours later I decided to go on a walk and had two friends join me because I couldn't go to sleep. My partner wanted to stay in our tent because he wasn't feeling well, so I said sure. Our other male friend who was coming to walk with me told his girlfriend to stay with my boyfriend so that she could look after him in case anything went wrong. We thought all was well until we got back. When we returned, the first thing I heard was just obnoxious, moaning and breathing. Me and the others panicked, so we immediately went into my boyfriend's tent and lo and behold, both naked someone's girlfriend on top of my boyfriend. I ended up vomiting and passing out on the shore, but I heard a lot of yelling and crying. I woke up being in my tent and saw my boyfriend sleeping next to me. Honestly, I had to really think whether I hallucinated him cheating or that it really happened. Our other friend's girlfriend had apparently left during the night without letting any of us know, so there were only four of us. My partner's excuse was that he genuinely thought that the girl was me. The smell, the eyes, the hair, etc. When I realized it was all real, I just cried and had been crying. Since I've never felt so broken, betrayed, confused, and hurt at the same time. I want to make excuses for him and think maybe it was just a mistake, but he fully cheated four years down the drain just like that. I've been staying at my sister's since we got back but he hasn't stopped texting slash calling me to apologize and say that he's disgusted with himself and that he genuinely thought it was me. I haven't spoken to him since but I'm so tempted to. I miss him but I'm just so hurt. I'm so confused. Should I break up with him for it? The girl had a deeper voice than I did and smelled entirely different from me. We have different perfumes and she was blonde. I dyed my hair straight ginger. So much has happened in the past hour. Our friend was able to get in touch with the girl who was caught with my partner because he went to the girl's house and no one ended up being there. I'll try to break it down as best as I can, starting with my partner who called off work to come to me so that we could sit down and talk about it once and for all. I asked him if he could possibly leave work early, as I knew I wouldn't be able to sleep anyway. From his perspective, while being in the tent alone, he couldn't tell whether he was asleep or not. He thought his eyes were open, but it wouldn't make a difference whether he blinked or stared into the abyss. He said he was really dizzy but really hyper, but also really tired and that all these feelings made him nauseous, but not to the point where he needed to throw up just enough to feel the need to lie down and relax. He said he heard the tent open but he didn't react because he naturally thought it was me. He said you going to bed as the girl he thought was me just plummeted herself onto the sheet next to him. He couldn't recall whether he heard a response, but he said he felt the kiss on his arm. He went in to spoon her and say goodnight until he felt the kiss on his lips. He kissed back and it progressed from there. He said he consented with his body as he thought it was me, but not because he was hallucinating, but because he couldn't see anything. He had his eyes closed most of the time because he couldn't see anyway. Apparently then they got naked and she straddled him. They didn't have intercourse but instead were dry humping naked. He said he couldn't even feel anything as if no one was on top of him. Then the tents were ripped open and he thought it was just her closing it behind her, but it was us. Then he saw us and got really confused. This was when he thought that maybe he was hallucinating, hence the no reaction. He thought that there was no way he could see me outside the tent when I was straddling him naked. Then the guy started yelling, the girl got off him and he went out of the tent naked. He said he forgot he was naked and got so confused as to what was happening. Then he saw me vomit and then pass out. The whole time our guy friend was yelling at him. He carried me back into the tent and stared at me for a good minute. He looked at our friend yelling and asked if this was real. Then he realized it was. That's when he started getting agitated, stressed, and started crying because he realized he just cheated on me. Then the girl disappeared and they didn't notice until the guy stopped yelling to ask the girl what she was doing being on top of him. He told me that the girl never spoke, only moaned. He thought it was me as we had a similar hair length and was confusing her eyes for mine whenever he caught a glimpse of light on her. I gave him a hug. When he finished explaining we were both crying at this point, still are. I asked him if he needed help reporting this girl to the police and he said no. He said that he thinks she confused him for her partner too, 
And I said there's absolutely no way that happened when she could see her boyfriend across the shore walking with me. He said that he didn't feel assaulted because he was reacting to it with the same energy, but that it was definitely weird finding out it wasn't me in the end. Still, I urged him to think about it carefully, but offered my support because I know how disgusting and weird it is to even think that we get roped by the same people we trusted, but that it needs to be addressed. He said he'll think about it. I set my side and how I saw it, and then we sat in silence for a while and talked about the good moments that happened that night. We were relieved that we talked about it and it genuinely felt like he was telling the truth. I've known the man for five years. He physically cannot lie. He said. He understood why I thought he cheated because he also thinks he cheated. I shared my own guilt and apologized for leaving him in the hands of someone else for allowing it to go that far for everything.